good evening Southeast Texas eight days away from spring that's on March 20th so we're gonna spring ahead that means longer days but that means one less hour of sleep but I'm okay with that I like the longer days because I like to go for runs during the afternoon so make sure that you do set your alarms an hour ahead that means sunset tomorrow is going to be at 7 23 p.m sunrise tomorrow is going to be at 7 28 a.m it was a pretty breezy day out there wind gusts reaching about 45 miles per hour in port arthur and mid county about 28 in orange 32 in beaumont now sustaining about three miles per hour in orange nine in port arthur they have calmed down a bit will continue to be breezy as we head towards this afternoon looking at a live look at our roofing 911 sky cam network over orange courtesy of Hortsman's western store beautiful blue skies out there 52 degrees right now so it is a bit chilly 30 percent for that humidity oh boy i love it it is pushing those mosquitoes out of the way as we head towards around 11 p.m tonight clear skies that's gonna bring those temperatures down into the lower 40s by 11 p.m and we are going to be monitoring a freeze warning that is in effect until 9 a.m tomorrow for orange jasper new in tyler and hardin counties looks like jefferson county we're just not going to get those freezing temperatures, but it's still going to be cold out there. I'm going to show you that in just a bit. Current temperatures 56 up towards Kirbyville, 55 in Orange, 53 in Port Arthur, 48 already up towards Jasper. Burr, that is cold. Layer up as we head into the next couple of hours. But as you can see, no rain. It's just too dry out there as we see those uh, humidity levels in the 20 percentile. High pressure really controlling our weather pattern, keeping those clouds out of the area. That's why we are going to be seeing a dry forecast as we head into Sunday. Monday is a different story. We see a disturbance roll through a really strong trough of low pressure that's going to drag a cold front in late Monday into early Tuesday. So that is going to spark off a chance of severe weather and scattered showers and storms. So we're seeing a slight risk for Tyler Jasper in northern uh, Newton counties right now. And then for the rest of the area, it looks like a marginal risk. So low we will continue to monitor it the next couple of days. Things could change, but as of right now, it looks like low risk rain fall totals about half an inch up towards the lakes area for the rest of the area about a quarter of an inch and this is just uh, excuse me just through tuesday so this is march 15th it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge washout but definitely we're about nine inches um, below average of rainfall for this time of year so we definitely need it out there especially because we've been seeing an increase of wildfires over towards the lakes area as we head into the next couple of hours though those temperatures are going to be dropping down into the middle and upper 30s not monitoring any severe weather or rain showers clear skies out there because of those clear skies look of those temperatures already reaching freezing by 5 a.m. up towards the lakes area could be reaching about 29. This model is way too warm and as we head into around lunchtime tomorrow you're still going to want to keep the jackets out because it's going to be a cool day out there. The sun is going to keep us warm a little bit but because it's going to be breezy tomorrow still going to feel pretty cool out there. High temperatures by around 3 p.m. into the lower and possibly middle 60s as we head into tomorrow afternoon dropping down into the 60s increasing cloudiness as those winds do shift off towards the east and southeast dragging in moisture and clouds out of the gulf and that's going to set us up for a wet monday slightly choppy seas out on the gulf of mexico one to two feet no advisories out there beautiful sunny skies and one high tide at 4 13 p.m great boating day as we head into tonight frosty patchy frost development after midnight tonight those temperatures are going to fall into the upper 20s lakes area low and middle 30s in the triangle as we head into sunday's forecast Oh my goodness, wind chills are going to be making it feel like the 20s. So you definitely want to layer up, bundle up, and it is caldo weather as we head into Sunday's forecast or gumbo if you like gumbo. Sunny delight out there. Just overall a gorgeous Sunday, especially if you want to uh, take advantage of the last day of the Red Bud Festival or fly a kite because it is going to be breezy out there. Gusts reaching about 20 miles per hour. As we head into Monday, waiting on that cold front, late scattered showers and storms overnight, possibly some severe weather and then it clears out by Tuesday morning. Beautiful sunshine doesn't cool us down that much though. As you can see, that might have been our last freeze as we head into tomorrow morning because Wednesday and Thursday it's going to be pretty warm. St. Patrick's Day is looking good and we're waiting on a second cold front to keep us cool as we head into next Saturday. But overall, those temperatures look like where they should be for this time of year around normal. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, hopefully this is the last little cold front we have and then we're turning the corner. Yeah, it's long overdue. I mean, our last cold front should have been um, where our last freeze and our last cold front should have been March 1st. So 
this will be our last freeze of the season as we head into spring. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much, Christiana.